morning crew out here in the Arizona desert and we just got off a call with our partner Kashav all the way out in New Delhi, India and man is he hysterical. He's a goof. He popped on our call with this awesome chicken hat this morning. He has a lot of experiences for you guys to check out but today we got a little glimpse of his game night experience and man did it make us laugh. Did it embarrass us but it was all well worth it. So if you follow me on Facebook go check out my post. Might be true, might not be. <laughs> and watch this video to see what I had to do with this banana because it's exactly like it sounds. It is exactly like it sounds. So, of course, you can find him in our experience shop, but check out this video. It'll make you laugh to death. Let's do this. I'm interested to know what we're going to do with you today. Yes, ladies, you have no idea what you have signed up for. But no, uh, no, we really don't. <laughs> very well, very well. I'm impressed. Since we are going to play the ultimate game night on Zoom. So of course, my name is Keshav. I'm in New Delhi right now. Please don't mind my little cap. I usually have it on uh, because it's freezing here and it's just 12 degrees Celsius. It's probably more cold in your area, but I look like a Santa Claus for a reason because I enjoy cold and I enjoy all the clothes that come with the cold. So we're gonna start this game night by sharing one absolute bizarre, weird, wicked habit. About each other, not just about ourselves. And because I'm proposing to do that, I must absolutely begin by sharing mine, so that I can assure <laughs> you that it's a safe space. Now, if you ask me what's my weird habit, if you go to my YouTube history, guys, the only videos you would find there are people popping out pimples. I absolutely love watching pimples pop out videos. I know it's gross. Can you please stop making those faces? Uh, uh, okay, uh, okay, that's discomforting, but. It's a room of no judgment, like I said. And now that you know mine, I need to know yours. Okay, okay. I'm trying to think of mine. You know, I I actually do enjoy watching pimples pop as well, but not not the massive ones. Those ones a little bit freak me out, but I I do like the pimple pop so much. So her sister just recently sent her some nails, and the nails pop had pimples, and you could like pop fake them. Pimple popping nails. It was it was the very intriguing. So. That face is like a, oh, me too. <laughs> Your weird habit. My weird habit, and I've had it since I was a kid, and this is what popped up immediately, is I don't like my ears to be cold. So whenever they're cold, I notice I, I warm them. I grab them and I warm them. And then they'll get cold in like two seconds and I'll grab them and I'll warm them. And even like my nose. So it's, it's odd, but for whatever reason, I like to warm my ears and my nose. You are constantly doing this. Yeah, it's a little weird. <laughs> Very interesting. That's your super secret. I'm gonna try that and write you an email if it works. Uh, Casey, what's your weird habit? I always wear like layers. So like growing up, I played soccer in the desert where it's 100 degrees outside, but I would show up with my sweatpants, with my jacket on, and I would run until I couldn't handle it anymore. And even still, like I was just bundled up in this coat when it's really not that cold out here. It's just a little breezy, but like I always have the weirdest layers on. That is so cool. Uh, thank you for trusting me with your secrets. At any point in time, if I have to blackmail you, I know what your secrets are. Just kidding. Yes, That's you everything. do. And we got you. <laughs> Lovely. Without further ado, let me just welcome you to the ultimate game night on Zoom. The rules are really, really simple. There aren't really real rules, but here are the house rules. Now, sharing is everything in this experience. This experience will give you as much as you give it back. Play with your heart open, be very open and be very ready for some wild bonuses during the game. Uh, the instructions are going to be not confusing at all if you hear them properly there is time limits to some round so you would have to make and happen uh, make it work within the time limit and there are extra marks for getting wicked so even if you're giving me incorrect answers i don't care as long as you're wicked you have my heart so without further ado here we come to the first game which is many truths and a lie now what we're going to do here is Let's just see how well you guys know each other. It's been three years, as you say, it's time to put it to test. I'm going to ask each one of you and I'm going to give you only three minutes to do this. You would have to think three statements each. Two of them are going to be truths. One of them is going to be a lie. The other person has to guess which one is a lie. Now, if you're thinking the statements, you have to think of statements which are absolutely difficult to guess for the other person. Because if you're going to give it easy, you're going to lose a mark because they're going to guess it. Now, your job is going to be to think of statements that's going to be very difficult for the other person to guess. You will only have 
30 minutes to think of a state or three statements two truths and a lie and your 3 minutes began now i love the seriousness you're putting in the game you've got this okay that's a minute about two more yeah. minutes you ready okay i think i'm ready too i think i'm ready wow that was quick i can't wait what you have to say kesi we will begin with you you look like born ready bring it on okay <laughs> <laughs> all right statement number 1 i would run around with my shirt off till i was about 10 years old um i've been chased with a rifle down the street and i was really good at pogo sticking growing up mm-hmm. am i good to Stop. guess yes i'm going to guess the third one was the lie dang you got me What are you saying? <laughs> wow. I I would practice every day and it just didn't click. So, I was very good at it. <laughs> Let's see if I can stump this. Yes, absolutely. Okay. okay. So, when I was in first grade, I shattered my arm. When I wow. was a kid, I was deaf in one ear for a year. Mm-hmm. And when I was a kid, I burnt the majority of my hair off with a candle you guys are so adventurous i have to say <laughs> oh no you man of oh, i did stuff you that's some childhood casey that's a difficult one i think number 1 so that you didn't shatter your arm dang i just broke it okay, i can't i would like, <laughs> have heard that one we've talked breaks and cracks and all that dang gotcha. you you did <laughs> all right kishan that is so cool fun? yeah absolutely why not so okay here is my first one now i left my first job see i'm not even taking time to do this it's like i have practiced it already 100 times just getting i'm going to make it immediately as i speak to you so my first is going to be that uh, i literally jumped off a plane and decided to quit my job when i was in the air i decided to quit my job uh, that's uh, number 1 number 2 is i am married twice in my life and number 3 is going to be i missed a call from harry styles Harry Styles. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, literally. Yeah, I missed the video call from Harry Styles. Okay, I'm going to say number 2 that you've only been married once. Interesting. Okay. And Casey. I'm going to guess number 3. You didn't miss a call from Harry Styles. <sighs> You're right because I never received it. Ah. <laughs> 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 yeah you're right but that's actually one of my friends who actually uh, uh, wrote a message to Harry Styles in 2002 and that guy apparently replied her back and even gave a call to her and she was bearing so she never knew it and that has been a time till today she cries over it but uh, <laughs> lovely you guys are like uh, i don't know you're giving right answers even to the stranger who you have just met 5 minutes ago i am <laughs> so impressed let us level up the game and it's all fun and games till the time a dare comes in the mid here's a wheel for you i'm going to rotate it it's going to give you a dare that you would have to do there and then in just 60 seconds you will have a choice either to be embarrassed on the zoom call and choose to not do it or to do it if you choose to do it i give you a plus 10 there and then if you choose to pass it nevertheless there's always another day who's coming first i'll go first i'm a little nervous lovely tosh let's see what you get on spinning the wheel and doing the dare mm-hmm. now you are in a desert so that's even more creative you have to find a snack and you have to eat it without using your hand you will only have a minute to do the whole thing are you going to do it or are you going to pass it I'm definitely going to do it. Is Case able to like get the snack for me and then I just like eat it without my hands? Team work. I don't mind. Yes, you can do that. <laughs> okay, you okay, only you have 60 right. seconds. Hurry, 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 hurry. 
60 seconds, girl! Wow. Okay. Okay. Without my hands. I don't even yes, know. Yes, I can see you. All right. Oh, oh you did it. <laughs> oh, I got it recording. Wow. <laughs> Does it look You're like welcome. she's doing it for the first time? <laughs> you gotta finish. <laughs> Sorry for this bad <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm no hands, no hands. <laughs> so good. Hey, it's right so good. Right on the spot. I mean, have you been practicing for some day when you're stuck in a <laughs> desert and you're on a Zoom call with a stranger? You might be asked to eat a banana without touching your hands. So you're so smooth at it. This I is mean, my morning routine. This really looks staged. <laughs> looks like, clearly looks, looks like. I, I mean, I've never seen somebody eat a banana with that ease and grace with, without even touching it. You See, that was really That's some skill that I've seen. That I'm was, so impressed. Casey, that was intense. <laughs> but I did it, Casey, and that's is all that the matters. pressure building up? Um, maybe a little bit. I hope that it doesn't have to involve teamwork, because I think I, I might get something <laughs> bad. Some backlash? Some backlash. Some backlash. <laughs> I'm a little nervous for the all right, let's see. Coach. Spin that wheel, Keshav. Let's see what she has to do. <laughs> Let's see, I'm spinning the wheel right now. Dude, I was, that was so funny. That was so funny. <laughs> uh -huh. Interesting. Oh, yes! Uh, this one yes. says the opposite team member will tell you what to post on your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, anywhere on the socials right now and you would have to uh, post it and you have to put it throughout the day. Now, the other person has a very important role to play this time because it all depends on you, Tosh, what you want her to post and where. Casey, are you going to do it or are you yes, going to pass it? Yes, I will and what a revenge you get on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's grabbing her Good device right time. now. Fantastic. Tosh, think of the, like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I know so many people who would wait for this opportunity. <laughs> it's your time to really get creative and shine. I'm a little scared. It's not going to be so You bad. should be. I am a little scared here. It's just going to be the worst thing you've ever said in your life. <laughs> it's funny because I like, rarely post on Facebook too, so this is going to be like, what? <laughs> in the news? This is going to be in the news. <laughs> Alright, Tars. So, let us know what you have decided for her to post. Well, I think it's going to be instant karma and it's going to say every morning... Oh, well, that, that should actually be taken dirty. I was thinking, I like to eat bananas without my hands. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe <laughs> maybe I should rephrase that. I'm going to I'm going to have her post something that's going to get a lot of attention. I'm going to say um I tripped and fell into a cactus with my face cuz then everyone's going there to miss go. you all day long. Okay. Now Casey you only have a minute to do it. Oh wait, I got to get Anybody on. Show us once you have done that, we gotta see it. I wonder what on my phone. I don't know my password. I'm struggling to log into my Facebook right now. That's a that's a fail then. Just no, no, 17 no. more seconds. Oh my gosh, I'm here. Last seven seconds. Oh my gosh. Okay, you can do you. Come on, come on! And the time is up! Oh, I just lost She failed, but I still think she has to follow through and post it because now she just got I lost. fully agree. 
Agreed. Okay, I tripped. I couldn't agree. I <laughs> fell face first into a cactus this morning. I like it. How's that? Yep. Damn. All right. Post. Oh, so much. Your phone's going to blow up. So much attention. It's going to be annoying. You are welcome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's a random post. Okay. The banana one would have been embarrassing. Thank you for not doing that You're one. welcome. <laughs> Maybe we should oh my God. take a photo with it later. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Like, take a screenshot and send it to friends. Like, do you know about it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I won that oh round. God. I'm you the clearly, winner. like, aced it, Tosh. You absolutely aced it. I mean, hold this Oscar and give us a winning speech right there. How Thank hard you. did you work for it, Tosh? Thank you, everyone. I worked incredibly hard. I have trained for years and years to eat a banana without my hands. And I am so proud to debut that skill to all of you today. Thank you, thank you, all of you, that guy. You did this <laughs> Absolutely legend amazing. You guys are fantastic. Oh my God, I cannot imagine the fun you're having on this trip. I wish I was there. So that's pretty much what I do. I mean, uh, we usually have more people on different screens. So we could, we use a lot of audio, video and uh, multimedia. We even have Oscar sound effect that I was trying to play right now. It didn't really play. But uh, we try and make it as exciting as we can. And there's usually a tech support also to manage all the tech that happens inside the room so that we make sure everything goes well. And so we absolutely love what we do. And it's always a pleasure to bring it to more people.